Well, vitamin C is indeed an incredible ingredient for so many people, let's be honest, it's not for everybody. So if you've been looking for a non-vitamin C antioxidant that can still yield a skin brightening effects, this is the video for you because today we are doing a deep dive into the ingredient resveratrol, which is known for its antioxidant, anti-aging, skin brightening, and anti-inflammatory properties. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. I'm Dr. Stevens, a board certified dermatologist. I practice dermatology in South Florida and we need all the antioxidants we can get down here. So many of my patients want the benefit of an antioxidant but cannot tolerate a vitamin C for whatever reason. So if that is you, let's dive in. So a lot of antioxidant actives actually function in completely different ways, which means that you're gonna get completely different benefits from integrating certain antioxidants into your routine. Like many things, a combination approach tends to be the best. So it's not like vitamin C is better than resveratrol or resveratrol is better than vitamin C. They function completely different. They have different biological processes and therefore yield different results for your skin. Resveratrol is the number one antioxidant that I recommend in my clinic when someone is asking me for a non-vitamin C alternative, and that is because I treat a lot of hyperpigmentation. Almost all of my patients are dealing with hyperpigmentation in some way, shape, or form. So I'm gonna recommend an antioxidant that is gonna, of course, help with your skin health benefits, but also help with hyperpigmentation. And resveratrol is pretty well known for what it can do against hyperpigmentation. It's a natural polyphenol. It's something that's found in your grapes, your nuts, and your berries. And it's unique in the fact that it can actually enhance your body's own natural defense system. Did you know that your skin already came with its own antioxidant system? Resveratrol can actually boost the system in a couple of ways. It decreases reactive oxygen species, so the free radicals that you hear people talking about, but it also stimulates a pathway which causes your body to create more of its own antioxidants. So I love it because it really does a lot for your skin and it acts in pretty unique ways. Now as a board certified dermatologist who is treating anywhere between 20 and 30 patients per day dealing with hyperpigmentation, I love the fact that resveratrol is going to offer UV and visible light protection. This is especially important for those with melanin-rich skin who are trying their best to treat fade hyperpigmentation because we know that visible light is one of the huge culprits driving persistent hyperpigmentation. So anytime you see any ingredient that is gonna protect against visible light, find a way to incorporate it into your routine. So this is something that's in my personal routine. This is an ingredient that I incorporate into the great majority of my patients dealing with hyperpigmentation routine. Resveratrol can also reduce the amount of damaged keratinocytes following UV exposure. Now damaged keratinocytes are not our friend. These are the cells that lead to this entire cascade of inflammation and therefore hyperpigmentation. So we don't want them and we want anything that can possibly reduce them. It's also both a direct and an indirect inhibitor of tyrosinase, which is that all important enzyme in the pigment production pathway. It's a substrate alternative for tyrosinase which basically means that it's sitting in the car seat of tyrosinase. So it sits in its seat and it does not allow tyrosinase to continue to drive down that pigment production pathway. Therefore, it's inhibiting its function and it does this more potently than vitamin C. So you're probably thinking, if this ingredient is so fantastic, then why haven't I seen it in more products? Well, no one really wants to work with it. It takes a very talented chemist to be able to effectively formulate resveratrol in a really stable formula. It's notoriously unstable. It breaks down really easy when exposed to light and air, and it's not very bioavailable, meaning that when you try and topically apply it to the skin, it's a really hard time penetrating. So it's not easy to work with. Not a lot of chemists are going to want to try and solve this very difficult puzzle of working with such a finicky ingredient, which doesn't have a lot of efficacy if it's not created just right. But luckily for us, Medicaid has mastered this with their OxyR Peptides Advanced Formulation. 
Special thank you to Medic8 for partnering with me on this portion of the video and supporting our skin inclusive YouTube community. What sets OxyR peptides apart is its innovative click activated stabilization system, ensuring that the oxybisphenol remains at maximum efficacy and potency from the first application to the last. OxyR peptides lie in the dual phase system and before first use, you activate the serum by clicking and shaking the bottle, combining the ultra high concentration of 1% oxybisphenol with tetrapeptide 30 and acetoglycol beta alanine in a hydrating hyaluronic acid base. And as you guys know, it's never only about a single ingredient when it comes to effectively fading or treating hyperpigmentation. So I love the triple threat approach at really targeting dark marks and uneven skin tone right at the source. Again, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Over here, we only recommend products that are backed by inclusive science-based research. So everybody was included in the clinical study. This product is no different. Medic 8 did clinical testing on the product from the fairest to the deepest skin tones and showed that it was effective at brightening the skin and fading hyperpigmentation in all skin types. Resveratrol's benefits definitely do extend beyond tackling dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It has the anti-inflammatory benefits of soothing and calming the skin. It has the antioxidant ability to fight against environmental stressors, and it does have anti-aging abilities. It helps with reducing fine lines and wrinkles from its interaction with a protein called a sertraline. So it really does do quite a lot, and it's one of those underrated antioxidants that you just may want to include into your routine. So if you decide to, here's how you'd want to do it. First, decide where it's going to make the most sense in your personal skincare routine. Is it your serum, your moisturizer, your sunscreen, or do you really want a targeted specific treatment like the Medic 8's OxyR peptides? The key is truly consistency and using it with other combined ingredients that are going to enhance its results. For example, using OxyR peptides is simple, but it does require a little precision. So like other antioxidant serums, you definitely want to apply it first, right after cleansing your skin. And then in this case, you're going to apply six drops to your face, your neck, and your chest. You want to avoid the eye area and then make sure that it's completely absorbed into the skin before you move on to your moisturizer or whatever your next skincare step will be. And there is no rule about when to use antioxidants that can truly be beneficial in both the morning or the night. In the morning time, you are gearing up to fight against the environmental stressors of the day that you will undoubtedly encounter. And at night, your body is working really hard to repair itself from all of the oxidative stress and free radicals that it came into counter with during the day. So as you can see, there really are benefits to doing both and there is no right or wrong you can certainly do both or you can find where it best fits into your current skincare routine in your lifestyle and do it then what matters more than the time of day that you're using your antioxidant is whether or not you've chosen a product that has the right formula and the right combinations to truly unlock the antioxidant benefits i hope that you found this video helpful if so please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to the channel let me know what you want to see next time until next time be well